Hello, I'm Mary Ellen Pethel, Executive Director of Nashville Sites, and I'm also an Assistant Professor here at Belmont University in Interdisciplinary Studies and Global Education. And we're here at the Belmont Mansion with Director uh, Mark Brown, who has been here since 1986. 1986. So, you know, just the other day. Just the <laughs> other day. Um, and so we're here at the Belmont Mansion, which is one of my favorite places in Nashville, and also uh, as the first stop on the Belmont Hillsboro Vanderbilt Nashville Sites Tour. So if you go to nashvillesites.org, go to look at the tour list. It's at the very top because they're in alphabetical order. It starts here at the Belmont Mansion, goes through campus, goes through part of the Belmont Hillsboro neighborhood, up 21st Avenue, across Peabody Campus, and then finishes by coming through Music Row back to the Belmont Mansion. So we encourage you to take the tour, and we uh, thank you for joining us today on the first year anniversary of Nashville Sites. So I, we just wanted to give you some behind the scenes, and I'm gonna ask Mark a few questions about some of the incredible things that are going on here at the Belmont Mansion. So Mark, I'll just start by asking, um, if you could tell people what's here in the Belmont Mansion that they can see and what, what's the, the, the main story that's told. Okay, well, Belmont Mansion was the home of Joseph and Adelicia Acklin, and it was built to be their summer home uh, in 1853, uh, and it was part of one of these pleasure estates that was surrounding on the outskirts of uh, downtown Nashville right. um, at that time. We think of it today as part of the city, but really it was considered to be two miles out in the country. And it was simply built as a pleasure estate, as a summer home. Um, they added up to it twice, and so by 1860, they had added the room on where we're standing now, uh, the Grand Salon done by Adolphus Hyman, uh, a Prussian-born architect working here in Nashville, and considered to be the most elaborate domestic interior uh, built in Tennessee before the Civil War. So this is the Grand Salon, and so the woman who... This is the woman who built the... And so this, is the, this was her money that built the house. Um, she built it with her second husband, uh, Joseph Acklin. Um, Adelicia grew up here in Nashville. She was a, uh, born into the Hayes family, a prominent family here in Nashville. Uh, married first Isaac Franklin, and then after his death, she married Joseph Acklin, and they built this house over basically a 10-year period. It's incredible, and it is worth noting, and we talk about this on the tour, that they are a very wealthy family. She was one of the wealthiest women in uh, the nation and right. maybe number one uh, in, in the southeast but uh, her fortune was gained through um, through slave trades right. and plantations uh, in, in Louisiana and New Orleans. Exactly. Um, Isaac Franklin uh, was a slave trader that traded slaves from the upper south to the lower south. Um, he um, was out of that business basically by the time they married and was and was becoming a cotton planter. Mm -hmm. uh, he was purchasing land in uh, Louisiana, and um, that's where the vast fortune of their uh, money came from, was from the cotton uh, plantations in Louisiana, and also a cattle farm here in Middle Tennessee called Fairview, in, uh, right outside of Gallatin. And so we know that this then becomes a school in the 1890s with Belmont College for Young Women and then Ward Belmont College, 1913 to 1951, and then becomes the, uh, the central, one of the central hubs of the early Belmont College in 1951 when it's purchased by the Baptist. And it's still right here on the Belmont campus, but what Mark has done and his incredible staff over the years is they've taken this, which used to be in the school days in the 1890s and early 1900s, this was the administrative offices, these were classrooms, these were, were dormitories. And in the last 20 years, I would say, they have taken this mansion room by room and have restored, not only looked to, to peel back the layers, but to restore and help preserve some of the original features of the house. And so one of those cool, really cool things is the, are these floors. And I'm not sure if you've been able to get a long view of these floors, but, Mark, will you tell us uh, about this pattern, and maybe we could walk over and see right. that original tile. Uh, this uh, was a room was originally 
uh, floored with a heart pine that was painted to look like uh, black and white marble. And this was fairly common uh, during this period. And so when we took up the two levels of the layer of 20th century floors, we actually found about 60 um, of the white uh, blocks still intact well enough. So we photographed those, documented those, and then used those to, um, for the decorative painters to come in and recreate uh, the designs that was recreated. We also had to put down a new flooring because the original pine flooring was damaged. It also will not stand up for women's high heel shoes. So we milled oak flooring to match the width of the flooring. We're still in the process of restoring this room. You see the ladder yes. uh, behind us here. Uh, we've got all the walls were marbleized. In fact, every surface in this room just about was paint decorated. Um, this woodwork is all faux grain to look like English quarter sawn oak. The marble walls are all marbleized to look like about five different shades of uh, marble as well. We'll be starting on this uh, beam or rack uh, next week. It also gets marbleized as uh, well. And what, and what, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but what he means by that is marbleized is it's not originally, it's not marble. So it's being painted to look that way, and that's similar to the floors in trying to create this marble effect. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but one of the things you realize is that, that these markings that make it look like marble were hand, were just done by the, the, the oh, artist's yes. fingers. Yes, it's all hand done. It is um, a very naive treatment. Uh, the rest of the, the rest of the decorative finishes in the house are uh, very sophisticated. Uh, we then even got two frames, window frames in this room that are from, um, it's, the original graining has been exposed and revealed. Uh -huh. But this this was a very naive treatment, and we're not quite sure exactly why. Exactly how they landed. And when you were talking about the faux grain, so this this grain this is not original. This is being faux grain. It was. This is what it originally looked like. This is what it originally looked like. But it was taking what type of wood and then making it look like what type of it's wood? Most of the wood is probably poplar. Uh -huh. It's a variation of wool. wool. And then they're painting it to look like uh, another wood. Let's see if this is... Um, actually, some of the best is actually hidden um, by uh, the shutter that's here. So this is all hand done. That's all hand done. To make it look like the original faux, I mean, talk about interpretation. You gotta, you're gotta, you gonna restore the faux wood that was originally there um, with all these intricate greens. And so there is, um, I'm not sure what her title would be, but you've got a preservationist uh, and a painter who is in here working every day. All of the public rooms in the house remained intact except for um, the formal dining room, which we have now restored, and the billiards room, which we have now started the demolition in to uh, look at some of the original um, elements that are left uh, in that room. Uh, so those are the two projects we're working on now. Uh, we're, with our COVID hours, we're now open Friday through Monday. Our winter hours are Friday through Monday from 10 till 3, and Sunday we're open from 11 to 3. Okay. Uh, we used to be open seven days a week. Um, starting in March, we'll be opening uh, back again on Thursdays as well. Okay. So and you just come, uh, ring the doorbell, we're doing self-guided tours, uh, which we have interpreters scattered throughout the house. Uh, we give you an introduction to the house, there's interpreters to ask the question, there's room cards in each room, or you can book a uh, guided tour for okay. your group, or you can book a curator's tour uh, as well. All of this is available on our website. Okay, this is great. Well, we thank you so much. Come visit the Belmont Mansion. Take the Nashville Sites, Belmont, Hillsborough, Vanderbilt tour. Go to Nashville Sites, check out the other tours, click the donate button. Um, we really appreciate it, Mark. Thank you, and uh, Thank you. we'll see you soon. Okay.